Actor Matthew Perry has died. The beloved friend store was reportedly discovered dead in the jacuzzi of his L.A. area home this afternoon. In the wake of Matthew Perry's untimely passing, a statement has emerged from his family addressing the tragic event. However, the one family member who seems to be genuinely shocked and taken aback by the entire situation is none other than Matthew's mother, Suzanne. Matthew Perry's mother, Suzanne, must be absolutely devastated by the heartbreaking news. It's bewildering for her, given that Matthew had been fiercely committed to his journey of recovery. She had been an unwavering pillar of support throughout his healing process. Following the tragic discovery of her son's passing in his jacuzzi, Suzanne, along with Matthew's father, John Bennett Perry, and stepdad, Keith Morrison, arrived at their L.A. home, their faces painted with shock and sorrow. They were met with the grim scene, with police cordoning off the air. Area. A white tent had been set up beside the swimming pool and hot tub in the backyard as nightfall descended. Suzanne, who was once a Canadian journalist and press secretary to the Canadian Prime Minister, played a crucial role in Matthew's life. After her separation from John, she married Keith Morrison, a man who became Matthew's second dad, in 1981. In a 2017 interview, Morrison had expressed his belief that Matthew would become famous, though possibly not as an actor. He described Matthew as an outstanding individual, praising his intelligence and character. In a 2020 interview, Morrison further highlighted their close relationship and Matthew's remarkable qualities, emphasizing his intense focus and talent. Matthew's parents had always been there for him, right from his early days. Morrison used to take him to hockey games on Saturday mornings and witnessed his remarkable skills on the field. When Matthew faced a challenging three-month period of bed rest due to gastrointestinal surgery, Morrison stood by his side, bringing their family closer. Matthew's battle with addiction was a long and arduous one, and his parents remained steadfast in their support. In 2018, when he was hospitalized due to the consequences of opioid use, they rushed to his side, a poignant moment that illustrated the depth of their love and concern. We were able to be with him a lot of the time during that period, which I think was beneficial for everyone, Morrison said. It brought the whole family closer, and we all got to be there to support him. He's coming through it. Matthew's parents were by his side throughout his long struggle with addiction, too. They were both standing at the edge of my bed, Matthew recalled to Diane Sawyer on ABC News in October 2022. I was like, whoa, I must be really sick for this to be happening. Now with the tragic news of Matthew's demise, his family has told people in an exclusive statement that they are heartbroken. We are heartbroken by the tragic loss of our beloved son and brother, the family said. Matthew brought so much joy to the world, both as an actor and a friend. They added, you all meant so much to him and we appreciate the tremendous outpouring of love. For context, Matthew Perry's passing came suddenly, shortly after he returned to his Los Angeles residence, following an energetic two-hour pickleball game. According to reports from TMZ, he had dispatched his assistant on a brief errand, and when they returned approximately two hours later, they made the harrowing discovery of Perry unresponsive in the jacuzzi. Swiftly, they contacted the authorities for emergency assistance. Engine 23, rescue 23, MS-9 all on radio, respond to the drowning. Process. Notably, there were no indications of drugs at the scene, and authorities do not suspect foul play. Responding to this tragic incident, a representative from the Los Angeles Police Department revealed that officers had been dispatched to Perry's home in response to a call concerning the death of a man in his 50s. However, at that time, the police had not officially confirmed the identity of the deceased. Matthew Perry's final public appearance prior to his untimely passing involved a dinner outing with a friend. The friend star was captured on camera looking at ease outside the Apple Pan, a renowned Los Angeles hamburger establishment, just six days before his passing. In the photographs, the 54-year-old actor appeared relaxed, donning a green t-shirt along with black pants and sneakers while enjoying quality time with his unidentified companion. His demeanor conveyed a sense of contentment as he ventured out and about. One day following this dinner engagement, Perry posted an eerie image on Instagram where he was seen inside a hot tub. His caption read, Oh, so warm water swirling around makes you feel good? I'm Mattman. The moniker Matman had been a recurring term he used on social media in recent days, often accompanied by references and imagery associated with Batman. On the day preceding the hot tub photo, he shared a moonlit video with the caption, Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? I'm Matman. 
Subsequently, Perry posted on X, let's make stigmas a stigma. I'm Mattman hash mental health. Amidst these cryptic posts on October 15th, Perry shared a rare image featuring himself and his father, actor John Bennett Perry. The caption humorously read, here is me and my father John, both holding a beverage, amassing hundreds of thousands of likes from his followers. Following his tragic and unexpected demise, fans have been speculating on what actually happened. One particular fan asked, What just happened? How can he even drown at his own home? Authorities are saying that there was no foul play and there were no drugs founds. Then how do they explain the drowning? Could it be a M? He might have been given some sedative due to which he become unconscious and drowned? A second fan added, Remember he was on drugs. Drugs F up your body badly. I heard he was clean, but maybe his body finally gave out on him. And a third fan went ahead to link Perry's demise with other celebrities who died after having an OD saying, getting drunk or high in a tub or jacuzzi can be deadly. Whitney Houston, Dolores O'Riordan, Cranberries, and now possibly Matthew Perry, it happens. Dolores O'Riordan, the lead singer of The Cranberries' death in a bathtub in 2018 was a heartbreaking loss for the music world. The talented Irish musician, known for her distinctive voice and emotional lyrics, was found lifeless in her hotel room's bathtub in London. Her passing was later ruled as an accidental drowning due to intoxication. Additionally, Whitney Houston's tragic death in 2012 also occurred in a bathtub, and it was linked to drug use. Houston's passing was a devastating loss to the music industry, and her struggles with substance abuse were widely known. Another high-profile bathtub-related tragedy involved actress Jean Harlow in 1937, during the golden age of Hollywood. She passed away at the young age of 26, with her death attributed to kidney failure, likely exacerbated by complications from a toxic reaction to medication. This combined with the recent tragic loss of Matthew Perry has only added to the somber narrative of celebrities losing their lives in bathtubs and jacuzzis. These occurrences have led to widespread speculation and conjecture among fans. One fan commented on this saying, the Illuminati had him emmed, just like they had Whitney Houston emmed. While fans have ventured into the realm of dark theories and rituals, it's essential to emphasize that these ideas largely remain within the realm of fan speculation rather than proven facts. Nonetheless, it is hard to ignore the common thread that connects these artists, as many of them grappled with substance abuse issues during their lives. Matthew Perry had opened up about a painful chapter of his life in a memoir he published last year, where he recounted the struggles he had faced, including the significant weight fluctuations he experienced during his time on the hit show Friends. Matthew Perry's revelation about the severity of his addiction struggles paints a heart-wrenching and sorrowful picture. In his memoir, Matthew wrote about his addiction and how it made his life tumultuous. He wrote that he had his first drink at 14, but didn't recognize the signs of alcoholism until 21. Since then, he estimated, he'd spent more than $7 million on efforts to get sober, including multiple stints in rehab, LA Times reported. Matthew wrote his addiction to drugs started in 1997 following a jet ski accident. This was three years after Friends had premiered. One time, in a scene in the coffee house when I'm dressed in a suit, I fell asleep right there on the couch and disaster was averted only when Matt LeBlanc nudged me awake right before my line, he wrote. No one noticed, but I knew how close I'd come. He gave up drinking in 2021. I didn't know how to stop. By the time I was 34, I was really entrenched in a lot of trouble, but there were years that I was sober during that time. He wrote and adds that he was sober during the ninth season of the show. Substance AB led to a number of health complications in Matthew. Once he went into a coma for two weeks, in 2018, he underwent multiple surgeries around 14 and was hospitalized for five months following a colon rupture, which left him with a 2% chance to live through the night, he wrote in his book. He suffered from narcotic bowel syndrome due to overuse of apoyads. Narrating another dark moment of his life in his book, Matthew says he did not get emotional during the last episode of the show when all the others were sobbing. I felt nothing. I couldn't tell if that was because of the opioid buprenorphine I was taking, or if I was just generally dead inside," he wrote in the book. So, instead of sobbing, I took a slow walk around the stage with my then-girlfriend, Matthew said. Friends had been a safe place, a touchstone of calm for me. It had given me a reason to get out of bed every morning, and it had also given me a reason to take it just a little bit easier the night before.
he wrote. Additionally, during his press tour for his book, Matthew engaged in several interviews where he became deeply emotional. One of the most poignant moments occurred during an interview with Diane Sawyer. During this interview, he shared the story of his addiction to pills and alcohol and how it had a profound impact on his body, causing his weight to fluctuate. Looking back on those challenging times, he expressed deep remorse for his former self. The ABC special with Diane Sawyer featured Matthew Perry in a highly emotional state. He couldn't hold back tears when they played a clip from his friend's days, depicting him looking incredibly thin. In the clip, he estimated his weight to be around 155 pounds, highlighting the toll his addiction had taken on his body. Wait a minute, I know that hat. I was taken aboard that hat. <laughs> they did experiments on me. I can't have children. The drugs had suppressed his appetite to the extent that he lost an alarming amount of weight, with his weight dropping as low as 128 pounds. He described this period as being out of control and feeling utterly lost. And I'm sorry, and I'm so grateful to not be that anymore. <sighs> but it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to watch that. Matthew also shared that his weight increased when he was heavily drinking, reflecting on how sorry he felt for himself during those moments. ABC played clips from friends, demonstrating how evident the changes in his weight were from season to season, all while he was grappling with addiction. Notably, he singled out Jennifer Aniston for her unwavering support during and after their time on Friends, underscoring the significance of having a strong support system. Meanwhile, former colleagues and stars have paid tribute to the Friends actor. The official Friends Instagram account posted that it was devastated to learn of Perry's death. He was a true gift to us all, it said. Maggie Wheeler, who played Chandler's girlfriend Janice in Friends, said the joy Perry brought to so many in his too short lifetime will live on. I feel so very blessed by every creative moment we shared," she wrote on Instagram. Morgan Fairchild, who played Chandler's mother Nora Bing, said, I'm heartbroken about the untimely death of my son. The loss of such a brilliant young actor is a shock. The actor Wendell Pierce, who starred alongside Perry in the remake of The Odd Couple, wrote on X, For two years, Matthew Perry was my boss, my colleague, and a giving, kind, funny man. I pray and hope he is at peace. The actor Selma Blair wrote on Instagram that Perry was my oldest boyfriend. All of us loved Matthew Perry, and I did especially. Every day, Blair wrote, I loved him unconditionally, and he me, and I'm broken, brokenhearted. Sweet dreams, Maddie, sweet dreams. Actor Paget Brewster, who played Chandler's girlfriend Kathy in season four of Friends, wrote on X, he was lovely to me on Friends, and every time I saw him in the decades after. Please read his book. It was his legacy to help. He won't rest in peace, though. He's already too busy making everyone laugh up there. Meredith Salinger, who starred in A Night in the Life of Jimmy Reardon with Perry when he was 16, shared four photos of them together. Matthew and I have known each other since we were 16 years old. Oh, man, no words. Rest in peace, sweet Matthew Perry, she said. What a tragic piece of news to read. Actor George Takey wrote, My heart goes out to his loved ones and longtime castmates. Canadian American comedian Tom Green wrote, Shocked and saddened to just hear about the passing of Matthew Perry in a tragic drowning. He is one of the many talented and incredible success stories from my hometown of Ottawa, Canada. Rest in peace, Matthew. Broadcaster Piers Morgan called Perry a great actor, but by his own admission, a very tormented guy. His recent autobiography about his addiction-ravaged life was one of the most powerful, honest, and revealing I've ever read. Such sad news. In the wake of Matthew Perry's tragic passing, the outpouring of grief and tributes from his colleagues and fans has been overwhelming. His untimely death has left a void in the entertainment world, and his legacy as a talented actor and a complex individual has been widely acknowledged. As news of his passing continues to circulate, many are anxiously waiting for further details to shed light on the circumstances of his death. The shock and sadness reverberate throughout Hollywood, reminding us of the profound impact one individual can have on the lives of so many. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye.